Hi everybody. Welcome. I'm a few minutes late. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to be late, but here I am. Story of my life. Day late and a dollar short. <laughs> I hope you all understand what I'm saying, but welcome. Um, again, story of my life. Day late, dollar short. Couldn't find it on Facebook. Crazy. That was probably more a user error than it was anything else, but welcome everyone. I'm so glad to see each and every one of you. Um, Laurie is on vacation this evening. I hope she's having a great time. She was supposed to get on the boat today. She was hanging around in Vancouver and um, said that she had a great time. She was exhausted, so hopefully she'll get to relax a little bit on the boat. Um, but anyway, I am Mary Ann from Made by Mary Ann. And I'm so excited to be here tonight. Uh, Laurie has been gracious enough to let me hijack her page. Um, so tonight we're going to create something really awesome. And um, I'm glad to see y'all. So I'm burning up already. Can't see the little sweat beads. <laughs> anyway, let me show you what we're going to do. Um, if you'd like and follow my page, I'd love it. Um, again, I'm Made by Marianne. So y'all can find me here on Facebook if um, I think Laurie's put a link there, so that'd be great, but I'd really appreciate it. Welcome, y'all. So tonight, I thought that uh, Laurie has given you all kinds of great ideas about how to make flowers and uh, put different things in the center. So um, tonight, we're going to make a wreath with very little, um, very few things. I guess very few supplies, I guess I should say, and still make it look like it's huge and full and wonderful. So, here is our board, okay? This is the Unique in the Creek large flower board, and as you can see, I have loaded every other hole on rows two, four, and in the center, okay? This is how our design is gonna go tonight. We're not gonna put anything in any other holes. So as of right now, there are 13 zip ties in this board, okay? If you wanna see the back, this is how the back looks. So rows two, four, and in the center, okay? Every other set. And something's going on, I can't see your comments. Of course, it's gonna be that day. But anyway, large flower board, load them open. Every other hole on two, four, and the center. Maybe I can pull you up over here. Let me try that really quickly, guys. Welcome, everyone. I'm excited to see you all. I'm so glad to be here. I'm really excited to do this. I love these boards. I love Laurie. Laurie's a good friend of mine. So um, she's one of my mentors. I would do anything for her. <laughs> she's done a lot for me. Um, so while we're, I think I see you here. Yay, there I am. All right. Maybe I can see your comments now. Will they pull up for me? Let's see. Technical difficulties, don't y'all love it? Internet, can't live with it, can't live without it. Facebook, can't live with it, can't live without it. <laughs> so here is what we're gonna do with our fabulous little board tonight. Check out the magpie. Now, I was previously calling it a crow, and my boyfriend had to correct me, all right? He was like, that's not a crow, Marianne. A crow has a black beak. Well, he's right, right? A crow has a black beak. So this is a magpie, and if you can see, it says, happy fall, y'all. I got this adorable little crow. <laughs> there I go again. This adorable little magpie from Doors Wood Ideas on Etsy. She's amazing. I use all kinds of her stuff. Um, I love her. If you saw the fox that I made, if you're one of my followers, thank you. Um, if you saw the fox that I made last week, that's where I got the fox. Also, Doors with Ideas. Um, I will post the link for you guys on my page after the live here so you guys can find some more of her things. She's pretty awesome. But it's metal. It's UV coated. I've already got it ready to go, ready to stick on a wreath. Awesome little cute little magpie. And there are no comments. Ah, oh, there you go. Hi, Nanya. Hi, Sandy. Hi, everybody. Welcome. So glad to see y'all. So here's our magpie. Super cute. Super cute. All right, there's that. So 
To match our magpie, here's our ribbon, which is just a teal sunflower ribbon. So I thought that matched his um, overalls perfectly. Okay, so there we go. There's that. And then um, for our base, I have this jute snowdrift. Okay, our jute snowdrift. And um, I think you can only find this at Hobby Lobby, which is a shame. But I looked at Craft Outlet today um, because I need some more of it. And I don't think you can find it anywhere but Hobby Lobby. But anyway, it's uh, really cool. It's a jute. Pretty awesome. Love it. And then, as our accent mesh, we're going to use this natural, or I guess they call it buff, um, check mesh. Okay? It's a poly burlap check mesh. And as you can tell, it's like a wide weave check. So that's our accent mesh. Um, I also have some fall sunflowers that I thought would be awesome to accentuate our uh, magpie there. So there we go. You have two rolls, yeah, see? <laughs> All right, there we go. So that's what we're making tonight. Um, should be very few supplies. Um, we should have it done pretty quickly, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Oh, and here's our bow. Can't forget the bow. I have some of it. I didn't get a chance to roll it all up, but we'll roll the tails and make it look gorgeous here in a little bit. I included some raffia that we need to separate. I don't know if I like the raffia yet, so we'll decide when we get the actual design finished and um, ready to go. Okay, but here's our bow. I added a little green too. We won't be using green for the ribbon ribbon, but it needs a little more something besides the blue and yellow or the teal and yellow. Anyway, there's what we're going to do. So I'm going to um, pull the camera down and get you started here. Well, thanks everybody. I appreciate it. All right, let's get this done y'all. Okay. So at this point in the live, I have to move my camera and I always say to close your eyes because if you get motion sickness, I move it and it shakes a little bit. So hang with me and we'll get this perfect and get started, okay? So here we go. I'm gonna pull y'all down, hopefully. See, it shakes just a little bit. Close up, close up, close up. You can see my sweat beads. Okay, now, see. I need to draw my big old thumb there. Let me catch up and see what you guys are seeing here. One of these days, I will get a professional setup, y'all, I promise. Okay, there's that. Maybe just a bit back. Yeah. Let me look here. What do y'all think? Oh, the Reese shop has it, Nadia says. Awesome. Okay, there we go. How are we looking, guys? Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Tell me if I need to move it. Let me know what I need to do here. Well, thank you, Miss Wrightson. Thank you, Miss Tina. Okay, Karen Marie says it's perfect. So we are going to go with it here. Yeah. I like it, too. All right. Maybe if I do it just a little bit, let's get the whole thing. Sorry, I'm shaking you just a bit. All right, let me stabilize you. There we go. All right, friends and family. So for the first, for our first step, again, you are not going to use, and I'm putting my hair up if you're wondering what in the world is making these sounds so crazy. <laughs> For our first step, we're not going to put anything in any other holes here. Okay, so for the entire process, we're going to use these exact same sets. Okay, so you're going to see me add more zip ties as we go along. All right, as you use this method, method and as you get used to it, you can probably use one zip tie and put everything in on top and close it down. 
But since we're learning, I like to do it step by step by step and add zip ties as we're going, okay? You will see as um, I get started, okay? So for our first step, grab either your measure buddy, okay? I love my measure buddy, but I'm so rough with this part that I use my pearly weight here. And this poor little pearly weight's been with me through thick and thin. Um, it's just a mesh weight that I got from Pearl Higgins on Etsy. And it is pearlswhimsicalreese.com. They're awesome. You get two in a pack. They're exactly 10 inches. So I use them to measure my mesh. So what you're going to do is you're going to gash, gap, gasher, gasher, people. <laughs> Sound is fine. Uh-oh. Ever, can everybody else hear me? Okay, let's see. Can it sound as good for you too? Okay. Uh, Miss Kathy, try to go out and back in and see if that works. Sometimes it's a little weird like that. Okay, thank you, Miss Dion. Yay. Evelyn says yes. Okay, good, good. All right, so try to go out and come back in and see if that doesn't help. Um, I'm a loud mouth. So, if you can't hear me, yeah, let me know, because I promise, if you can't hear me, then something's wrong. <laughs> Alright, so now, to start the process, what we're going to do is, I like to drop my mesh in the floor, okay? Um, I, may, I might have vacuumed today, and I might not have, can't remember, but it's not really going to matter, um, because I am. I know for a fact I did it yesterday. So, anyway, moving along. <laughs> Let's scrunch our little mesh up here and make a tail. And all, it doesn't matter what your tail looks like. Just make sure it's curled down so that you got your surged edges where we can make a nice poof. All right, you can start anywhere you want to on the board. You don't have to start where, you know, it says to. You can start down here. You can start over here. It doesn't matter. Whatever. But since I, you know, let's start right here. Since I like to start at the beginning, we'll just start at the beginning. But you don't have to. You can start anywhere you want to, okay? So there we go. Just stick your little tail in. Grab your zip tie gun. And let's do it, okay? Now, for the poofs, we're going to make 10-inch poofs. And we're going to measure them with our pearl weight, okay? And what you want to do to make a great poof is to keep your surged edges on the bottom, okay? Kind of make it like you're making a tube, all right? And come from the outside in, okay? See what I mean, the outside? If you were to do it this way, it's gonna look funny. So go from the outside in, okay? And then just close your zip tie. And we're gonna do that 13 times, okay? And then I, like to fix my poofs as we go. You don't have to, you can fix your poofs at the end if you want to, no problem. So, and it's gonna look like a hot mess, but trust the process, okay? So let's go back, how to do this. <laughs> Thank you, Carrie Murray. I'm sitting here talking to her and uh, she can't hear me. So that was pretty stupid, but thank you for typing it out for her. All right, so again, 10 inch poof. Going back outside, making sure our surged edges are on the bottom, making a tube, and then pulling out our poof. Voila! And we've got this pretty little poof here, trying to get a hold of it. Closing our zip. So welcome everybody, if I didn't get to say hello to you. Thank you, Miss Evelyn. Welcome everybody, if I didn't get to say hello to you when he came in today. So let's do this one. And we're just gonna do that all the way around, so this is gonna be pretty boring for a minute. So let's chit chat. How was your Sunday? How was everybody's Sunday? Did y'all get some rest or get something done or anything amazing that anybody wants to share? Thank you, Tina. Appreciate you.
check. I didn't have anything amazing happen today. It's been um, thunderstorms. So just kind of been hanging out, crafting, doing some crafting stuff, cleaned out some of my craft drawers, found a bunch of cool stuff that I forgot I had. Do y'all ever do that? Clean out your craft drawers and find all kinds of stuff. And you're like, oh yeah, I remember why I ordered that. <laughs> Changes your whole crafting plan for the week. You're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna make that now. I love this mesh. I think it works awesome for poofs and curls and ruffles. Doesn't really work well if you're gonna make a flower because it doesn't really make a pretty petal. It's very unruly, but it makes beautiful poofs and it also makes beautiful curls and ruffles. Doesn't give very good coverage, but you'll see when we get done. It's, it's okay for a base. Perfect for a base, actually. Well, hi from Texas, welcome. I'm from Tennessee. I'm in Irwin, Tennessee. Nestled in the Appalachian Mountains here. Very, very close to the Blue Ridge Parkway. About an hour and a half from Gatlinburg. About two hours from Knoxville, depending on where in Knoxville you're gonna get. About four hours. <laughs> Trying to get downtown to the Ball game, it's probably about 05. <laughs> Kidding. Depending on traffic. Okay, so now we've come full circle and we have a space here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna close that circle, okay? So we're just gonna put a zip tie right back down in this same set, right back on top here. And I lost your comments. There we go. Let's see if I can find you again. Goodness gracious. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, let's hold it. Let's keep going. No, no, don't waste your time, guys. Okay. Oh, and I got my surge bed all screwed up. Let's get it back on the bottom here. Make this. Close it up here. Even to the outside, we're just going to throw it on top of there. Surge dash doesn't want to cooperate, so we're going to manipulate it a little bit. And all I'm doing is pulling that little surge edge back in a little bit, so it makes a prettier little poof. Tucking that in just a bit. There we go. All right, now, now all we're going to do is we're going to move to the inside. And I like to, I'm all over the place when I um, do these lives, guys. So I'm sorry, you're going to see it over here, over here, over here. So sorry about that. Um, I like to move not to the one straight down here, if you can see. I like to move the one diagonal, okay? So my mesh is here. If I were to move straight down, it'd be this one. So I'm going to move to the one right across from it, diagonal, okay? So let's do a 10 inch poof here. And I want to see if I can get your comments back up. We're just going to do the same thing. Go to the outside of the board. Try to move from the outside to tuck your poof in. And see how it all kind of like lays together pretty well? Makes a, makes a pretty base, right? Okay. Grab us another 10 inches. Move to the next one to the outside. Stick it in there. That's a little bit taller than all the rest of them, so we're gonna. There we go. Get in a bit. I go around and mess with everything as I go. <laughs> Knowing it's going to be a complete and total mess here in just a second. I still mess. So see how this is topped up? We're going to put that surge edge under there and make a tube again. There we go. Let it down in here. Let's 
Sorry I'm missing your comments, guys. I don't know what happened, but Facebook has gone out on me. So bear with me just a moment. When we get this part finished, I'll pull you back up. There we go. Maybe I can see him from there. I don't think I can. There we go. really pretty base I really it looks all natural and all fall makes a really pretty Easter this mesh makes a really pretty Easter cross you guys um, I like to make things on the cross board it's really pretty for that it, it'll work for any season really think about a natural um, wreath for with some black and red check buffalo check ribbon for Christmas that would be pretty some evergreen I like that. Ooh, that just gave me a really good idea. Matter of fact, <laughs> I'm going to go grab some more. Ugh. And she said the wreath shop has it, so I'll have to check there for sure. Okay, now we're back to the beginning. So same principle. We're going to do the exact same thing I did and close the circle and then move to the middle and make a poof. So let's grab another zip tie here, and then I will... Try to pull up your comments because we've got two more poofs and we're done with this. So, oops, right here is our circle. So let's poof there. Okay. Measure our mesh. Gives you kind of one little extra petal here, but that's okay. Or extra poof, I mean, but that's all right. Just gonna open them up. Should be on the outside. Okay, now we're just gonna make one poof in the middle. If I can find the middle zip tie. <laughs> and keep it from sticking all over the place. Well, I think I was wrong here, guys. I think this poof goes in the middle because it closes the circle. I think I was. Let's take that one out. Sorry about that. Okay, so we don't close the second circle. Sorry. I was thinking, I'm worried about my comments over here, people. So we're just going to snip that zip tie and take it out. Super easy. I love how um, these boards are so easy to fix a mistake. You just snip it. So let's take this and put it in the middle. So don't close your second circle. Just go to the middle. That's right. There we go. Now we're back on track. All right. There's our 10 inch. And we'll just move to the middle. There we go. Okay, now let me see if I can get your comments back up. And I'll show you what we have here. Let's cut our mesh off. Just cut it as close to the board as possible. It doesn't have to look gorgeous. We're going to cover it up. So, you know. Here we go. Now we'll pick that up in just a second. So, again, it's going to look like a hot mess right now, but that's okay. It's going to be. But, I think you can manipulate it to cover some of it. But see, look what a pretty base we have here. Now, let's see if I can pull up your comments. Because <laughs> I cannot see them on the phone. And it will not let me look at them. Okay. Oh, 
All right, maybe I found you again. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know what is going on here. Oh, like I said, love technology when it works, and when it doesn't work, it'll about drive you bonkers. Okay, yay. Yay, okay, so they're 10 inch poofs. Sorry I missed some comments, guys. Thank you, Tina, Kelly, and Carrie, for, and everybody else for hanging out with me and answering the questions. I apologize. All right, now, as I said, um, we are going to do everything in the same exact holes, okay? So to recap, so far, we've done 10 inch poofs all the way around here. When we got to back to this part, we closed the hoop or closed the circle off, and there should be two zip ties where we began, okay? Then we moved to this one. We made it all the way around, and we didn't close this part off. We just moved to the center and made a hoop there, or made a poof there, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we are gonna make curls, and we're gonna put them in exactly the same whole or same sets as we have these. So you can do two things here. You can either go ahead and load all of the zip ties into the exact same spots. I'll do it from the back so you can see if my Mac Daddy zip tie will actually go in this way. I don't think it will. My head's too big. But you can load it from the back. See, we're going to load it here. Or you can go ahead and load it from the front. Doesn't matter. Whatever you want to do. So go ahead and put another zip tie there. And then here's what we're going to do next. Now we're going to add in our buff or natural okay so for this you want to grab a pin like a clothes pin or however a clip whatever you want to use there and my little Stella has decided to come see what we're doing so if you hear her barking you know <laughs> that's that's what it is my little dog and your little dog too okay so, and grab a weight or grab something to hold it down because, um, you know, you don't want it moving around. Um, now, this is cut 20 inches, okay? It's 10, 10 inch mesh and it's 20 inches long. You want it to go curl side up. I have wood burn this mesh because um, if you don't, this is gonna come apart like nobody's business. You're not even gonna be able to use it. It's coming apart so fast. So <laughs> make sure um, that you do. You only need 12 pieces, so it shouldn't take you very long. Um, 20 inches again. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna curl it up. We're gonna make a kerfluffle. So I, you know, some people say just one curl, but I like to curl enough to where my edges aren't sticking out at the end, okay? So that may be two curls, that may be three, three rolls, you know, whatever makes you comfortable. Doesn't matter, as long as you get a pretty pretty roll at the end and you get some curls in the middle. So curl it up this side, throw your pin in there to hold it, turn it around, you can get rid of your weight now, and do the same thing. So curl it up, one, two, all my little curls are in there, my ends aren't sticking out, so we're good. And then we're just gonna scrunch, one, two, three, four, and then we're gonna scrunch this one into it. And there, is our kerfluffle, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick it in the zip tie we just put in, okay? So, there we go. And for this one, you want to make sure that you have some really good zip ties because if you don't, with all the stuff you're putting in them, you're gonna be a hurting, you're gonna hate it because <laughs> we're going to put a lot of stuff in these little zip ties. So there you go. There's one. Now while we're here, I'm going to put a zip tie in our next set. Okay. There we go. And let's make another. Because I can't talk today, so Lord knows if those instructions were any good. So let's try again. <laughs> Put your weight down. Roll it twice or three times, however many is gonna be 
okay with you so that the little edges don't stick out, okay? Grab your clip, clip it, turn it around, and get rid of your weight if you want. Roll it up again one or two times, two or three, however many you want to where it looks good and you've not got your edges. Scrunch, one, two, three, four. Just bring that one together. There's your curve level. Okay, stick it in our zip tie. what we're going to do for this step. So I'm just going to continue putting, I have these made and we can manipulate them later. Again, it's going to look like a hot mess for a minute. So just trust the process as they say. I put another zip tie in here. some of them made so we'll just stick this in here and make sure that they're not sticking up further than the one ahead of it see you want to kind of make them look even so there's that one down in however way you want doesn't matter let's put another zip tie in here in this set and you need 12 of these curve levels because we're not putting them in the middle we're just going to put them in every one except for our middle Sharon. I'm glad. I just want to show everybody how to do it and that way, you know, I was given good instructions so I want everybody else to have good instructions too. And I love, um, I love these boards. I'm telling you, there's not a lot that you can't do with them. You can do pretty much anything you can do, probably even more. You can probably do more than on <laughs> a wireframe. I haven't seen very many, very many things that it are done on a wireframe that you can't do on this reef board too. So I just love these things. They made my life so much easier. I might need to pull this one up just a little bit. It looks like it's sticking out a little further. Okay. I'm such a messy crafter. I'm just throwing stuff everywhere. I got stuff on the floor. <laughs> what zip ties are you using each time? Okay, these are six inch, 150 millimeter zip ties. So they are, let me see, I wrote it on the bag. Okay, so this is what the sticker said. And this is, I got 500 of them. So I took them out of the crazy bag and I got them off Amazon. Michelle um, from Monkey's Creations has some amazing zip ties. Unique in the Creek here, these, um, Unique in the Creek has, um, I don't think you can see that because it's orange, has amazing zip ties also. So if you buy those, you can't go wrong. But this these say four times 150 millimeters, six inch. So that's what I type in Amazon and um, that's what pops up. So four times 150 millimeters. So I think the four refers to um, the size of the head here, if I'm not mistaken. I, now I may be completely wrong. And I think the millimeter refers to the width here. But they're Mac Daddy. They are, they are strong. They're not going to... You know, 
And to show you the difference, here's the three from the same company. Here's the three 150 millimeter. Let's see. Yeah, 350 millimeter. Look how small these are compared. Now I use these for, yeah, um, and they're 18 pounds too. But if you get them from Unique in the Creek or um, Michelle from Monkey's Creations, you're not going to go wrong. But see the difference? This is the three times 104, 150. This one is the four times 150. But, um, you know, don't, unless you've bought them from Amazon before and you're actually happy with them and you know that they're going to work, I would buy them from um, Unique in the Creek or Michelle at Monkey's Creations. Because I promise you, they're, they know they're not going to give you something that's not going to work. And, they, and believe me, the zip ties I got from Michelle, <laughs> they work. Promise you. Promise you. And she um, sends them, I think she sent them last time in a, um, if I'm not mistaken, they were 500. I can't remember the quantity, but, and they weren't, they weren't expensive. I think they were like $11 or something. But now I know everything's gone up, and that's been a year ago, so I'm not sure how much she charges now. But, hey, there's zip ties, and you need them if you're going to do these boards, so might as well spend the money and get the good ones. So you know that if you sell them, your customer's not going to be angry with you. <laughs> or if you, you know, put them on your door, nothing's going to come out. Yeah, six inch. With this being the third time adding zip ties in the same hole, you use four inch each time. Um, well, this will be the second time. This will be only be the third time for the one hole that we closed the circle on the outside. This is just the second zip tie in each one so far. When we get done, we're only going to have, we should only have three zip ties in each set. But I would really use the four times 150, 18 pound. Yeah. It, is that, does that make sense? Yeah, four inches long are definitely not enough. You, de you have to have six inches um, at minimum. Yeah, six inches are perfect. I wouldn't go four inch or smaller. <clears throat> you can do eight inch if you want to, but they're kind of overkill. Like, here's how much I have left. Well, I'll show you after we put this one in here. How much I have left. Because they do secure it to the board very well. So I'll show you what a, and this one will have two. But here's how much of the tail I have left from this zip tie. <laughs> See, so you can't. You four inches would be way too small. I would. I wouldn't use four inches, but you know, if you can do it with four inches, more power to you. Yeah, but just my personal opinion, my advice. I'd be, go with Tina Kelly. She's she's our reading encyclopedia, and I would not. I would. I just wouldn't do it. Okay. All right, we're on our last one for this row. And then we're gonna put a couple more in here and we are good to go. We can start adding our ribbon. And our sunflowers. All right. Now, if you are super talented, you could do all of this at once. Step two and three and four all together. But I am not. And since we're learning, I figured it would be easier if we did it step by step. So, I'll show you what I mean here in just a second. So, moving along. I bet y'all were worried when you saw this mesh and thought, oh gosh, you can see the board, aren't you? <laughs> like, we're going to be able to see the board. Okay, just moving out some of the stuff here. Now, we're going to go in and find our other zip ties, so, or our other sets, and we're going to put another piece in it. We're going to put another curved fluffle. 
So I'm gonna be digging in this stuff. Yeah, no problem. I'm gonna be digging in this stuff. And remember, we're just gonna put a zip tie on top of zip ties. We're not putting anything in any other sets. So you can't go wrong if you just put zip ties on top of zip ties. Okay. And it's gonna smush stuff. So just bear with me. It's okay, we can unsmush it later. The point of this exercise is to make sure that you get all of the tails the same height. They're not sticking out of stuff a little higher. Okay, there's that one. Oh, let's get this all poofed back out a little bit. There we go. Make it a little bit better. We can unroll it a little bit if we want to. Make this one a little bit better. You know, you probably really shouldn't mess with it because it's going to look like a hot mess till we get done here. And you don't even have to uh, put the ones in the middle if you don't want to. I mean, look at our sign. Our sign's going to cover up most of it. See? In our bow. So, you really don't have to put the ones on the inside. I just like to because some of it is going to stick out. <clears throat> and I kind of like that. <laughs> so, you know, just finish the process is, I guess, what I'm saying here. You want to put another one here? And then we can move on to our ribbon, add our sunflowers, and then we can put our sun and bow on, and we're done, ladies and gentlemen. And that part does not take any time at all. And I'm a talker, so I'm sorry if I got started talking and took up your time. So. And you can even do every other in here if you want to. That way it doesn't, you know, you have more poofs. You could do that. Let's see, we need one right here. Oh, the phrase. Because even though I did heat seal it, it's still going to fray just a bit. All right, let's add these two and we are done. This part. I think it looks like hay, don't you guys? I think it looks just like fall. I think it's so pretty. So far, kind of looks like a hot mess, but I like the colors and the way it's going to look. You've never seen it? Well, good. I'm glad you. Glad that um, I could show you something new. Um, I'll tell you that I, I um, found this from Sean Bianchi from Bianchi's Creations. She is the one that um, taught me this method. And so I have just run with it. And it's what I've used for almost all of uh, my wreaths lately. The bee wreath that I've made, if you guys know which one I'm talking about, the bee wreath. That's how I made the bee wreath. Um, all right, guys, here's our last one. It goes right here. Okay. Um, let's see. My skunk. Almost everything that I want to put a sign on now, I do it this way because I just think it's easier. Well, I didn't put a zip tie in there, so let's flip this one back up real quick. Okay, now, here we go. Last one, ladies and gentlemen. So, so far, you have used half a roll of your um, natural snowdrift. 
or you can call it snowball. I think it's more of a snowball. You've used half a roll of your check mesh, your poly burlap check mesh. Um, now you are going to add your eight pieces of ribbon. And you're not going to waste your ribbon by putting it on the inside. And I'm just cutting some of these little frays off. Because like I said, even though I have wood burned this mesh, it's still it's still pretty delicate. So it's gonna you touch it a lot, it's gonna do it. Um, now we're gonna add our eight pieces of ribbon. What do you think so far, guys? Pretty? Or no, you've gone with a different color, or Marianne, you crazy lady, or <laughs> Let me get some of this out of our way really quickly. <laughs> yeah, please follow me on Facebook. Well, thanks, guys. I'm glad y'all like it. I kind of thought you might. Let's wait till we get everything on here. And again, um, you don't have to put everything in the middle. If you wanted to save, let's say you only had maybe um, half a roll left of this stuff and you wanted to save it for another project because this poly burlap check mask is like 13 bucks. So... <laughs> Let's say you didn't want to use the half. You could only, you really could leave the middle as nothing but the natural poofs and do only the outside. So, hey, you know, anyway, you could save some money, but I think that's going to be adorable. Anyway, moving along. All right, now let's grab our sunflowers. Yay! We'll put them over here. And our ribbon. So all we're going to do, you only need eight pieces of each ribbon. I cut them at 16 inches, all right? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back in on the outside, so that would be row four, on the outside, and we're gonna add the ribbon and a piece of sunflower. Super simple, super easy, nothing to it. Then we're gonna put our, um, our magpie on there, our bow, fluff it out, and we're done. We might need to put another sunflower here and there. We'll see when we get done, but let's get to it. So if you want to, you can go ahead and um, load all your zip ties at once. But again, because we are learning, I'm just gonna put them in as we go. You can start anywhere. So I'm gonna start right here since it's closest to me. And I'm just gonna stick the zip tie back in there, okay? Ta-da! All right, got this one in there. Now this is the part where it gets a little tricky because this check mesh will catch on everything. So kind of move your check, check, check mesh out of the way so you can find it. Grab your ribbon, okay? I want the um, sunflower to be prominent. So I am going to put my sunflower on top, okay? So I'm gonna fold them. And this is just the way I do. I've staggered them a little bit, so both of the colors actually show. I'm gonna fold them so I can find my middle. Don't matter, you don't have to fold them perfectly, just so where you can find the middle there. I'm gonna scrunch them. If I can, maybe. Goodness gracious, what is wrong with me today? All right. And actually, I should lay. Now we're cooking with gas, Marianne. Goodness gracious. Scrunch them. Ta-da! And then you're just gonna put it in your zip tie. Okay, one other little trick. You can put the nub into, fix it just a little bit, it was a little off. You can take this nub and you can stick it in the zip tie, no problem. But these zip ties are open. So what I suggest we do is that the zip ties open like this, right? And you got all this mesh and stuff in there. So what I suggest you do is that you thread it through either the right side or the left side, doesn't matter, but that instead of putting the nub in there and closing it up, because it's gonna make it all weird and you're gonna have a time with it, is that you take one of the sides and you thread it through like this. See what I'm saying? That way, 
when you close the zip tie, you can manipulate the ribbon. And if it's too long on one side, you can fix it. Too long on the other side, you can fix it. Whatever you need to. Or you can put the nub in. Totally, totally up to you. I'm just showing you how I'm doing it. So I'm finding my middle and I'm threading it through the zip tie. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. And you're just going to do this on the outside. Now, I'm not closing it because here is where I want to add my sunflower. Okay. And you can manipulate your, your check mesh however you want to. As you can see, I have mine kind of down and I've moved it to where I have a hole here. Okay. So I'm going to grab a sunflower and I'm just going to push the leaves to the top to where it touches, not to where I pop the sunflowers off because as you can see, there are three here. And I'm going to cut, <clears throat> I'm going to cut the whole stem for right now. And we're going to stick it in there, but I don't want to stick all of that in there, but I want to leave it to where it sticks out kind of, mm, maybe even with the mesh. So let's cut it off about right here. And let's also stick it in that zip tie. Maybe. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, people. This worked like super easy this earlier today when I was making another one. Maybe it's because I'm trying to do it left-handed. Okay. Here we go. That works so much easier. So now, and then we can pull it up however you want to, just stick it in there to where it's sticking out just barely over your ribbon and your mesh, okay? So kind of even with the ends of your ribbon, all right? And then we can manipulate this if we need to. So leave some room to where you can pull it up if you need to or whatever, and then close your zip tie. Okay. Uh, you make your ribbons all pretty. And then we can push our. There we go. I'm looking at it upside down, inside out. <laughs> okay. Done there. There we go. Okay, we're just going to do that seven more times. Exact same thing. So grab your next zip tie. Well, thank you. Same hole as everything else. So let's let me show you again. We're not doing, we're not using any other hole at all. Period. No other hole. Everything is going in the exact same holes. So we've made a poof from here to here, from here to here, from here to here. And then what we've done all the way around and then all the way here and one in the middle. So then what we've done is we've taken our check mesh and we've added a zip tie and put that check mesh on top of this zip tie right here and right here, right here, right here. We've done every zip tie with the check mesh, okay? So there's one here, there's a here, here, everywhere, okay? We're doing the exact same thing with our tails. We've taken a set of tails, we've put another zip tie on top, and we're just putting our tails here, 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 here. We're only doing tails and sunflowers on the outside, okay? So that's a recap here. So there we go, there's our Oh, I didn't notice these sunflowers are like, um, satiny. Cool. What do you know? Cool. All right, moving along here. Let's put another zip tie in exactly where our other zip ties have gone before. Same place. Nothing different. And so here's where, um, if you want to use Chanel stems, you could. You totally could. There would be nothing wrong with that whatsoever. 
You would load them in the exact same place and then just keep adding stuff in the Chanel stem exactly where we're adding zip ties. And that one looks way too long, but it's not, I promise. I need to pay more attention. <laughs> okay, moving along. Here's our next piece of ribbon and our teal. So this time, let's put the yellow on top and do it that way. Can you guys still see what I'm doing? I don't need any more sunlight. <laughs> I know, that's what I thought. Well, you know, of all the sunflower ribbon I had, I'm the same way, Vicki. All the sunflower ribbon I had, I did not have a single thing to match his uh, overalls here. Not a single one. So I had to specifically order this. It, but I have black and white check sun ribbon, sunflowers. I have white sunflowers. I have natural sunflowers. I was like, oh. <laughs> drove, drove me bonkers. But hey, I thought it matched perfectly. I was happy when I got it. I was like, oh, that's going to be great. Okay, so we're looking our ribbons down, making sure they're even, and they are. Okay. Well, that put the blue on the inside. Okay, good. It was on the outside there. All right, let me pay more attention. Maybe if I do it from this side, like I normally do. I don't know why I'm doing it from the left. I'm a right-handed person. Got all screwed up there. Let's do it this way and see if I don't do a little better. There we go. Here we are. Now, I'm gonna thread it in there so that I get it in the right spot. So I'm gonna close the zip tie just enough to hold the ribbon in there so we can make sure that it's even. Hear it click just a minute. Yeah. Manipulate our check mesh here now that we've gotten everything all crazy yeah I think that's perfect okay grab our sunflowers let's cut a few off here so I don't have to keep going back every time oh and I got these um, sunflower stems from Hobby Lobby they are on sale right now so Go grab them. They're really pretty and they're actually fall. I thought, well gosh, I didn't think there was any difference in a um, fall and summer sunflower. I mean, sunflowers are sunflowers, but when you put these up next to the other sunflowers I have, there sure is a big difference. These are like more of a muted fall, a muted mustard yellow instead of a bright, a bright yellow. Okay, let's cut off about that much here. Can you also see what I'm doing? Yeah, okay, good. Then we're just gonna thread it through the zip tie there. Hi, yeah, yeah, come on. There we go. Thread it through our check mesh. Make sure it kinda sticks up. We don't want it to be too much. Turn it around a little bit. It's all wonky. There we go. And we can manipulate these however we want. There we are. And close our zip. Make sure our ribbons are still good. We'll go back and make sure everything looks good at the end here, guys. So right now, our ribbons are going to look like total, total mess, but Hang with me, we'll get there. They're gonna look good when we get done, promise. Promise, promise. Okay, there's that one. All right, put a zip tie in here. Any questions so far, everybody? You're welcome. Happy fall, y'all. <laughs> Thank you, Carrie Marie and Tina, for answering questions for me. I'm not great at reading comments, y'all, so I'm sorry. I like to run my mouth, too, so I'm just talking over here. 
probably to myself. All right, here's another piece of our ribbon. Last time we put, put it on the other side, so let's do it this way. Again, the ribbon's cut at 16 inches. You might be able to get away with 14 if you need to save some product. 14 would probably look good if you were doing, um, 14 would be perfect if you were using Chanel stems or pipe cleaners. All of them. I've got the blue one a little bit wonky. There we go. Open it up and thread it through there. Close it just a little bit. This is probably the longest part <clears throat> because I'm so OCD about how the tails look. That's okay. Kind of should be OCD about how the tails look and if they're matching. And you gotta be careful, you don't want one tail longer than the other, or vice versa, or, you know. Okay, now let's put a sunflower in there. We're gonna push them all the way up to the top, careful not to pop it off. Uh, where are my, there we go. Cut about that much of it. I think they're just so pretty. Look how pretty they are. I don't know if you can see the little shine on them, but I'm not, um, sunflowers are huge this year too. I was so surprised. Everything has sunflowers on it. Gray sunflowers, pink sunflowers. <laughs> Everything has sunflowers. I was thinking, goodness gracious. Uh oh, I just popped that sunflower off. We'll put glue that on there. And you can also um, put a pat of glue on it too as you're going. Or I like to wait to make sure that everything looks good before I glue it in. That way I don't get something glued that, you know, then ruin my whole design. So I don't glue till the very end. If I glue it all, sometimes you don't need it with the zip ties. Messing with my things here. All right, moving on. We've got a couple more to go, and then we can add our bow and our sun. I'm just adding another zip tie, guys. Exact same spot. Making sure it doesn't go through our check mesh. Because it will. Let's uh, tilt this puppy up a little bit. There we go. Let's get in the camera. All right, quit missing, Marianne. Let's go. <laughs> get us another ribbon here. I missed where S. Hi, Miss Jones. Welcome. You missed where, what, where I got them? I got these at Hobby Lobby, is that what you were asking? Sorry for the snickles, my nose is running like crazy again. Happens every time I get the least bit warm. Here's our sunflower. And let's see, we put this one on the bottom last time, didn't we? So we put it on the top this time. Hold it from our center. No. Oh gosh, that scared me, Stella. Sorry, guys. She'll be done in just a second. Stella. <laughs> I don't know what the world is outside because it has been thunderstorming like crazy. So who knows? Stella. Done in just a second. Give me maybe 20 minutes. I gotta 
Let me keep it into high gear here, I promise. All right. Putting in a wreath here. We're putting in a sunflower. She's like, but mom, did you see what's over there? I need you now. <laughs> sure that these aren't longer and they're not. We'll mess with them in just a minute. All right, sorry, am I boring y'all to tears? Don't mean to. Okay. Let's move our sunflower up a bit so it sticks out. There we go. That one needs to come up just a bit too. There we go with that one. What do you think so far? You guys like this method or are you like, no, Marianne, you're crazy. Not gonna happen. I missed where you got the flowers. I love that it has three pieces. I got it in my Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. Yeah, I love that it has three pieces too. Um, you hardly find it like that. Most, you know, some of them have two, but and believe me, I stood there for a good five minutes making sure every single flower was on there. <laughs> and if it didn't, I picked it off of another one and made sure. So, let's put our zip tie in here. Okay. I promise you guys, this is the hardest part, that, well, that and putting on the sign, is actually getting the ribbons in here. Okay. Let's see, I did it on top last time. Let's do it on the bottom this time. Thanks y'all for hanging with me. I know that it's been a little, a little long, so we're almost there. We've only got three more to go here. Yep. Okay. That one. Let's push it in here. Close it up. Grab our sunflower. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay, no problem. I'm glad you're still with us, no problem. Life happens, you gotta go deal with life too, you know. Oh, there we are. And it's Sunday night. And... Can't leave your yard to just strangers. All right. Putting in a sunflower. And I'll try to kick it into high gear here, guys. I'm cracking like nobody's watching. Okay. There we go. Stick it in our sunflower. And I, um, this will also be available on my YouTube page as well. I did have a YouTube page. I got it all started, thank goodness. Took me forever. Whew. I didn't think I was ever going to get it done. I don't know why YouTube is so... It's not really difficult. It's just time consuming. But it's um, made by Mary Ann at YouTube. So if you'd like and subscribe there, I would greatly appreciate it. This little piece is not wanting to cooperate whatsoever. That thing is just to come. All right, there we go. It's going to say, what was wrong with that wonky ribbon? Okay, kicking it into high gear, guys. Here we go. There's that one. Let's close this zip tie. And I will go back and fix the ribbons later instead of boring you guys messing with the ribbon tails. I'm a perfectionist, so I have to go back and mess with them anyway. 
Nothing makes me happy. <laughs> All right, let's grab some more. Get past here. I didn't notice I had. Okay. I bought new solar lights for my pathway, and I need to get them in. I haven't done that yet. They have them on the super sale at Sam's, so I was like, woohoo, I will take them. Okay, here we go. Why does that one seem to be so much longer than that one? making sure that was right. These that are too young. I didn't realize I had been with y'all so long. Time flies when you're having fun. Or time flies when you're crafting, I think. If you're doing something you enjoy, doesn't time fly by like you never know. Next thing you know, an hour and a half's gone by and you're like, oh gosh. Stella, what are you doing? <laughs> All right, two more guys. We can add our bow. Yeah, I appreciate that. Vicki, I saw one of the most beautiful wreaths you made um, last week, and I can't remember um, which one it was, but it knocked my socks off. It was gorgeous. And I meant to send you a message and tell you, and I totally forgot. I think it was the one you submitted for, it was either Wreath Critique this week or last week in our group. Oh, another thing, guys, if you are not a part of our group, Can-Am VIP Connection, please come and join us. We would love to have you. We learn all kinds of things there. Laurie is one of our mentors. Um, Michelle from um, Monkey's Creations is another mentor of ours. Um, Dre, Andrea Brown from Ranch House, Reese, Ranch House, <laughs> I can't say it, somebody post it. Uh, Ranch House Wreaths, um, she's another one of our mentors, and we have such a good time in there. We do wreath critique, we do all kinds of stuff. Um, <clears throat> you post a wreath every week, and they will tell you how to make it better. We have just a great time. So if you guys, please come and join us. We have a great time. We would love to have you. So come on, check us out. Come join us. We do cool stuff every week. We have chit chat on Monday where we get to just sit around and talk to each other. It's fun. We learn new techniques. So, I would have never learned this technique had I not been a part of that group. Okay, last one, guys, and then we can put our sign on. And we are good to go. We can put our crow slash magpie on there. 
I'm going to get a message in the morning that says, I can't believe you called it a crow again. <laughs> You're like, honey, when you do it, you can call it whatever you want. It is a magpie, though. Um, also, if you guys aren't a part of uh, Wreaths Work Forms and more, that's a cool group, too. They do they giveaways all of the time for cool things like bow makers and um, you can win to have your wreath posted as the banner. That's a cool thing. Um, so join us there too. That one's free. It's um, wreaths, work forms, and more. There should be a link on my page there. So if you guys would follow me, I do a live every week too. That'd be great. I would appreciate it. That is funky, but I will fix that later. See how I've got that? Looks like a shark's tail instead of a dovetail. How funny. All right. Last one, guys. I didn't put a zip tie in, but we're almost at the best part. So, here we go. Let's move this to the side here while I put a zip tie in. And then we are going to put our sign on. Was it the three sunflower on the large board? I think maybe it was, Vicki. Um, I think it was. Maybe it was, Vicki. Yes. Yes. And it had the, um, yours wasn't the pink and purple one, was it? Yes, it was. It was the, um, I'll, I will, I will go back and look at it and I will send you a message because it was just gorgeous. It was just gorgeous. And I meant to tell you and stop what I was doing and I totally did it. Or weren't you the one that did the oval? The one with it on the oval? Maybe that was it or, I don't know. I will go back and look, I promise. Okay. So we're putting this in here. I lost my place there for a moment, guys. <laughs> I was thinking about Vicky. All right, so here we go. Last one, and then we can move on. And we can end our Sunday evening with a gorgeous craft here. So I'm closing my zip tie just a little bit. And I've got it all off the board here. Okay. Let's put our last little sunflower in. Push our leaves up to where it looks decent. You could take the leaves off if you wanted to, but I kind of like the leaves. I think it gives it a, it's going to match the green in our bow here. And I might take the raffia out of the bow or split it up a little bit more. We'll see what you guys think when we get there. And I'm going to stick our sunflower in here. I feel like I just hit slow-mo for some reason. All right. Ta -da. Is that... Are they all even? They are. These tails are going to give me a nervous breakdown, but we can do... I can fix all those in just a little bit. Okay, guys. Let me show you. I pulled it so far out of the camera view. I bet you're like, what in the world is she doing? And just a little bit further. Here's what we have. Here's what our wreath looks like so far. What you thinking? Looking good in the neighborhood. And yes, I will go back and fix all of the tails to where they look decent and pretty. And that they're moved up and we don't have any holes and our poofs stick out. Yeah, are we looking good so far? I need to spread them out a little bit, make them look good. All right, awesome. I think it's cute as a button. Okay, now let's put our sign on. And I wanna put my sign to where I'm so short. I need to grow another couple of inches tall. Let's put it like right there. Have I got it? And it doesn't matter where you put the sign on this. Just because the hanging hole might be here on the board, it doesn't matter. Pick wherever you think it looks good. 
you know, if you stop right here, put it right here. It doesn't matter. With these boards, they can be anywhere you want. And I really think that that looks awesome right there. I'm trying to see what the camera looks like. Where did I get the check mesh? The check mesh I got from um, Hobby Lobby. Okay? Yeah, Hobby Lobby. Yep. Uh, no. No, no. The natural mesh I got from Hobby Lobby. The check mesh I got from Craft Outlet. I think also Laurie has some here at Unique in the Creek. So let's put our sign right here. And all I'm going to do is find a set of holes. And I think that right here is perfect. So I'm just going to find a set of holes. And I've just, all I've done is attach some cable mounts to the back, kind of where I thought the middle would be, and chenille stems. And we're just going to stick the chenille stems in the sets. Oh my gosh, it is thundering like crazy. If I can get them in there. him right here. And there's no rhyme or reason which set you use for this or if you even use a set. You don't have to. Just whatever hole you can find. Just put him in there. Push him down on the mesh too hard, but get him in there. Get him in there. Okay. Yes, he's in there. Just tighten him up a little bit. Let me get his feet in there. Just nicking him in there snug like. So his feet should go right here. All this stuff in, it's terrible. You gotta mess it all up trying to get stuff in it. Crazy, isn't it? Can you go in that little hole there? Chanel stems. Just another reason why I hate Chanel stems. Whew. Okay. There's one. I got one in, guys. Let's see if I can get two. Try and get the second one in here. Just picking a hole, whichever one it'll go in right now. And voila. There we go. Oh, whew, I didn't think that was ever going to get in there. There's just a sturdy one I'll have to get. Make sure he's snug. Okay. Grab the bow. So let me just go over here and grab a bow. <laughs> like I didn't make it. And I kind of want to put it right. We can move him over a little bit. Yeah. So let's put the bow. Okay guys, hang with me. We're almost 
there. I'm just going to put the bow in right here. Hopefully it will cooperate and won't take 10 years to get in the slots. Maybe. Oh my gosh, can y'all hear that rain? Okay, I got one hole in. And now for number two. We're just gonna lay it on top, just barely. Pull our poop back up there. Okay, guys. One more second while I fix the bow, and we have a wreath. I bet y'all thought we were never going to get there. <laughs> You're like, gracious, Marianne. Five hours later. Okay. Ah, if I can get it tied here. I might remove the raffia. I'll see what you guys think, but I'm not really a fan. All right, let me fluff it just a second and pull it over to where I think it should be. It's kind of lopsided. Okay, guys. Let's see. And we'll, I will go back and put some um, sunflowers in and we'll separate the raffia and see. I'm sure you guys know how to do that. I don't want to keep you here waiting. I just wanted to show you the technique. And I'll take some pictures and post them tomorrow. Let's put a hanging hole on this puppy. I'll roll this up real quick. Roll this one up real quick. Because what I would do now is I would unroll the bow and then I would probably put like a few sun, few more sunflowers. I would tuck one probably here, probably up here, probably a few in the bow. <clears throat> I'm just rolling up some of these so they aren't hanging down looking bad. And I'll probably split the raffia and then we'll see what it looks like split. I might keep it, I might not. Who knows? But I can't, I'm so short, I can't see over top of it. You know, I'd have to lay it on the floor. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to lay it on the floor right now. Okay, let me put a hanging hole in it or a zip tie really quickly and then I will pull you up. And guys, that's all there is to it. Um, I'll take some pictures of it tomorrow and post it. But what do you guys think? Um, I also need to know about the raffia. Would you guys keep the raffia? Let me pull you up so you can see it. And we'll look at it together. We will look at it together. And then I'll mess with the bow. As I keep messing with the bow. <laughs> Let me move it over here. Oh. Well, thanks, everybody. Let me let you see it for real here. Okay, here I go. Keep the raffia. I kind of like the raffia. All right, here we go. I'm going to pull you up, so hang with me. It's gonna look a little funny. You're gonna see me here real quick. Yeah, it's me again. Back in my kitchen. Let me make sure it doesn't shed it on you. I know that's the worst. Okay, well, here we go. I'm pushing you back. All right. Okay, yay. Here's what we have, ladies and gentlemen. And I am in love with him. 
but I think I'm going to have to go back and work on him a little bit, make some, um, I don't know, I do like a raffia too. I'm going to have to fix his bow. I love the sunflowers though. Pretty sure the raffia doesn't make it look messy, but I love the sunflowers. I love the bow. Maybe minus the raffia. But I'll go back and and then we'll add some more sunflowers. Like I need to tuck another little sunflower here. We'll tuck a sunflower here. You know, tuck some sunflowers in at some other little spots. And that'll make it look, I've got that big glare there. There we go. And that'll make it look even more gorgeous. You know, just a few little more. Put some sunflowers. I'll probably put a bow, a sunflower right here in the bow. Maybe right there in the bow. But I love him so far. I hate that glare. Sorry about that. I keep doing it. But I think he's great. And honestly, guys, it was super simple. If I hadn't hit slow-mo there in the middle, <laughs> it wouldn't have taken 20 years. But um, really, it's super easy. It's just, you know, um, to go over it again, we just really did rose. Let's see. I'll show you the back. So now pay no attention to the Chanel stems. Because those are, again, where we have the sign and the uh, bow and, you know, dog hair. Get the dog hair off of it. But we've done row two and four and then in the middle. And the only thing we did in the middle were the um, poofs, okay? So 10-inch poofs all the way around, okay? Close the outside row. Close row four. But don't close row two. Just keep on going, you know. Go from here to here to here, and then when you get back to here, just go back, go inside, and cut it off. And then if you didn't want to do the kerfluffles in all of the sets, you really could just do the kerfluffles on the outside. Because see how much it covers, how much the bow and everything covers? You really don't have to have the kerfluffles in every single one. Um... It depends on how how long you want your bow tails and all that stuff too. But you could, you know, so there's eight sets of tails and uh, they're cut at 16 inches. The poofs are 10 inches and you have 12 poofs. So you used half a roll of mesh for the natural poofs, half a roll of mesh for the um, check mesh. That's cut at 20 inches for the kerfluffles eight pieces of the blue sunflower ribbon, eight pieces of the mustard ribbon, whatever you use for your bow and you're good. So super simple and then your sign and, and whatever you want for the sunflowers or your accoutrement, you can make just about anything this way. Um, so awesome, well thanks everybody. Um, I'm seeing you guys right here on the replay. So I'll, I'll not keep the raffia, I might need to, I'll, um, Separate it a little bit, make it look a little better, and make the bow look gorgeous, and take a big picture for us. But I know we've been on here forever and a day, so Laurie's going to be like, gosh, Marianne. <laughs> I hope she has a great time, and I hope she comes back. But I'll let y'all go for the evening. Again, I'm Marianne. I made for Marianne, so, or made by Marianne every day, every time. Please, please like my page. Um, I do a live every, it used to be Wednesdays, we've moved, moved to Sunday now, every Sunday night at 7.30 right here in my kitchen, me and Stella, which you probably just saw in the background. Um, all of my videos are uploaded to YouTube at Made My Marianne on YouTube, you'll find that on my page. Check me out on Etsy if you're interested in any of my designs. Um, send me a message and I will give you a code for the live um, if you purchase one of those made at, on a live. There's a discount in it for you. So I appreciate you all. Join us at Canon VIP Connection. Also, join us at Reese Work Forms and More. Check out everybody coming up. Um, God bless each and every one of you. Thank you again so much for joining us tonight. Tonight it was made by Marianne. Tomorrow night it might be made by you. Laurie will be back sometime soon. Have a great night, y'all. God bless you all. See you soon.